considering you've moved to arguably a much better championship team, you'd expect that to be even better because Newcastle top of the league. We know they've won the league. So look, you'd expect to have um, just improved for playing for a better side in, in that standard. But Tottenham have done well just to get you out on loan. They signed you, but they just haven't utilised you, which is fair enough because you can't expect them to play you, not, not the finished article. But they've done well to loan you, which is why I'm surprised they haven't retained you or made an effort to retain you. There is a one-year optional contract extension, but they've only got a month to invoke that. And they didn't seem to do it with Mills. And your value is next to nothing. So you'll be, a, again, a bargain for a championship team. But maybe I, Newcastle should just sign you because they're going to the Prem now. They could do with you. Before I look at Newcastle team, I want to check Novak out. I don't want to get any spoilers away. So we'll look at Newcastle, see who was playing for them, who kept you out, and things like that. Let's see your achievements. You've probably got some players of the week, I imagine. <clears throat> so you, you got another medal as well. Well done. Your first senior medal. So you made it into the championship uh, best 11. The players selection. You got your first international cup, international cap against Holland. So I will go back and see where um, Custance got his. And I'm expecting players of the weeks. Yeah, so look, a lot more than Matt. That was probably this season because, yeah, you had to have been this season because it's Newcastle, even though it's a different year. So you've got one, two, three, player of the... It's very similar to what you were at Swindon, but you got into the team of the year. But obviously you're too young now to win Young Player of the Month. But it did say you're on international duty with the under-21, which I find odd, because you're 23. I know when maybe it's to do with like when the tournament starts, if you're 21, then you have two years to... Progress so that makes it England are in the under 21 euros. So I'll see if any of you other boys are there, and if there's enough of us, I could follow that, I suppose. Yeah, I'm almost glad I have done this one year move at a time now because I think two years would have just been just too much information to absorb what's actually been going on. And injuries, did I look at that? So an ex excellent year on the injury front, total of 14 days spread over. This one, just a cold. Just, yeah, it's good. I thought you couldn't get a cold in training or a match, so that's good. All right, we'll go on to the touch mills. And, ooh, looking at this. Wow. Oh, my oh my Lord. That's a shame. I didn't expect that. He's with the England under-21 squad. Yeah, he's retiring. Had a year out from the game. Obviously, no one's picked him up. It's incredible. This is what I said could happen with Stephen. If he just doesn't play, he could retire. I, I said it almost tongue-in-cheek because I didn't expect it. And I'm shocked that it's happened with Mills. I was surprised that no one approached to sign him. But look at these stats. I mean, that's so much better for an, um, an under-21 side. Maybe Mills might go into coaching. He's probably watching this now and he's a bit gutted. But it looks like he did have a trial at Watford looking at this. But they didn't pick him up. But I mean, if you had these stats, even in a League One side, just pay him thousands a week. This would be a great League One player. But Tottenham just ruined him. Maybe the whole hatred, because he's an Arsenal fan, just meant that Mills dug his heels in. We've seen how it affected um, Stephen at Brentford, but he managed to get out while he was still young, whereas Mills just didn't really develop. He was always seen as... Um, a young player, but if I was manager in the game and I added myself, I'd go in and try and convert Mills to an Ireland international, and also just get him get him somewhere like a under uh, not an under twenty one side, but like a Championship team, even a League One back at Brentford, something like that, just to keep him in the game. But I can't override this. That's a decision the player's taken just to retire. So you you've actually retired today, which is very. Mm, I don't know the word spooky almost because I just sim to this day that's what I've always done the 31st of May but it's just odd that you've decided to retire the day that I've simmed to and it's a shame because there's talent there and I hate the wasted talent aspect 
but um, I'll make sure this is clipped just because he is retiring now. Watford, so I'm shocked on trial at Watford. Jay, this is your biography. Started his career at Brentford in July 2014, breaking into the first team at 2015 and making a total of seven league appearances and scoring one goal for the club. Mills joined Tottenham in August 2016 but failed to make a league appearance for the club. Mills also spent time on trial at Watford. Mills' is Spurs team lifted the Under-21 Cup. So, um, what can I say? I'm just I'm flabbergasted. But it's annoying it doesn't have any of the landmarks like moving to Tottenham. That's all disappeared. I don't really understand it. I'll go back and look at Matt's landmarks. Um, hopefully there's more for Mills to follow this. He's probably so invested now he'll just track it. But this is what happens when you betray your country from a young age. If you've been playing for Ireland, all those youth games, you would have probably got more um, exposure. Going to Tottenham, though, considering you liked Arsenal, that was always a bad move. I don't know why you went there and then you just didn't see eye to eye. But he's got a first touch of 17, for God's sake. Technically, it just reminds me of David Bentley. All right, moving on. We'll we'll, we'll still follow Mills because he's he's in the game, but I don't know I don't know what's happened. If he will just disappear off my shortlist. I'll, I'll I'll have to do like an actual search. Okay, Baldwin. I big things predicted for Baldwin this season, but he's still quite young. For, and getting into City, but City are seem to be a permanent sixth place team. So. I think he's good enough. He was linked with Southampton, wasn't he? But he's obviously not ended up there. I'm just having a quick look at all, all this information before I go into his um, career stats. But yeah, doesn't look like he's on the attributes improved massively. He's just maybe increased a lot of the 12s to 13s and stuff like that. But he's got a lot of stuff he doesn't need, but it does help him defensively as a winger. Tackling, marking, that type of stuff. All right, so he's not played as many as I would have liked, considering he when he did play, he was very effective. He's had more more games, starts in the league, but not really kicked on. He is injured, so maybe there was a huge setback there. And even in the non-competitive, remember he used to be devastating in non-competitive football, contributing more goals and assists than starts. So that's disappointing. Let's check the injuries. So it's not nothing serious. I mean, that's come at the end of the season when there's no excuse for that. He's had very little, by the way, of injuries throughout his whole career. Achievements. This was not just a, a bland year. He got one team of the week. That would have been last season, maybe. Yeah, when he had that good two games, one goal. This is a, a waste of a year. He would have been better off going to Southampton, like I said. Oh, I just I just seen that for the first time. Borden was voted runner-up young player of the year for Bologna whilst he was there. That was a couple of years ago now. So it hasn't really progressed. You could find a move, but no, that contract's embedded in there. This is why I wanted to do the two-year leap, because people like Borden, Monday, who I think they're just going to be at too big a club and just not play. But yeah, they can, they've shown you he, defensive winger. That's probably what I'd do as well. But he take, negates his best attribute, which is what his finishing, which is odd. But he's by far the finished article. There's still room for improvement with Borden. Go back to Matt quickly, just to see. I want to see if they had his landmarks and do a little comparison with him and now. See, but it doesn't, it doesn't do it. I don't know why. Anyway, we'll do a comparison with Al. Both at Newcastle, so a good good opportunity to really compare them. And uh, there's not a lot in it. There's not a lot in it. Let's say. All right, you, you can measure that for yourself. Well, I'll move on to the next player on the shortlist. <laughs> 